over there. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment. But right now, it's a little cooler than where we were yesterday and over the weekend. We'll talk about we had a little cold front back into Colorado, the northeastern side. So we dropped a little bit today. 88 in Denver right now, 88 in Greeley, 88 in Lyman, 75 in Frisco, 84 in Aspen, and 79 from our weather watcher, Ronald, in southwest Lakewood. Downtown, we are at 88 degrees. And the same with uh, DIA and checking in with our almanac, both DIA and downtown. We're at our high point right now. Both all saw 88 degrees, which is our average. We've only had two average days in the last month, so uh, it's nice to be a little bit closer to where we should be. Temperatures tonight, you're looking at 60 in Denver, 60 in Akron, 59 out in Ray, 60 in Burlington, 43 in Avon and Frisco, and for Steamboat Springs, 62 in Grand Junction. And tomorrow, we're going to be even warmer again, so that cool down won't be lasting for long. You're looking at 95 in Denver and Boulder, 95 in Fort Collins, 91 out in Burlington, and 95 in Rifle, 96 in Grand Junction. And the western side of the state, we do have a red flag warning through 8 o'clock tonight for almost all of western Colorado. And then almost the exact same areas will have this again on Tuesday. So two days of high fire danger. We know how uh, bad it is over in Mesa County near Grand Junction. So again, that fire danger is extremely high. And because of that, we actually do have an air quality alert you can see for areas out west thanks to that fire. And we're actually impacted here across the Front Range as well. We have an ozone action day again in air quality alert day. So you can see that for parts of the Front Range as well. The air is just so nasty with all of that haze and smoke coming over from western Colorado. So again, that uh, is a big deal thanks to that fire. Now our air quality again, it, it will be an action day for us. Poor visibility, unhealthy for sensitive groups. And looking at our satellite and radar, there's a little bit of rain out there. We have had one severe thunderstorm down near Pueblo. Otherwise, we just had that front back through today, cooled us down a bit, but then we are going to see that move on very quickly. So later this week, we have some really hot temperatures returning and they'll be back again tomorrow. But the big uh, changes will actually come later on this week when we get close to 100. Future cast for tonight, those storms that are out there will clear out. And then tomorrow, we will have a chance of a few isolated thunderstorms, mainly on the eastern plains that could potentially pop and turn severe. So there will be a severe weather outlook for all of eastern Colorado and into parts of Nebraska and Kansas tomorrow. Our five-day forecast, you're in the 90s again all week long, and it's going to be really hot on Thursday. We're knocking on the door of a daily record high of 99 degrees. But you guys, it's going to be really hot and dry this week, so we just have to be very careful with all the fire danger. Sure do. 